Hi guys, it's uh, Moses uh, from Mr. Benetti, the YouTube channel again. Uh, after the last video, we saw the in the, in the last video we saw that the uh, Tesla coil was uh, uh, fairly much in tune. It was uh, put, putting out some pretty nice output uh, until the uh, diodes, high voltage diodes that were uh, rectifying my AC flyback transformer decided to catch on fire and uh, give up. Uh, but we saw the coil was working, the output was pretty good, uh, so I decided to go straight to what we were originally going to try and see if I can drive this coil at all off this quadruple Benetti machine. Now, of course, we're not putting anywhere near the kind of energy we're putting in off of that uh, ZVS driven flyback transformer, but if I can get any kind of uh, decent uh, uh, breakout from my uh, breakout point over there, uh, that'll show that I am driving it. Now, of course, I could go with lower capacitance. I have about five and a half nanofarads. I could probably go with about one nanofarad, but I would have to completely change my uh, primary to uh, increase the inductance substantially. Uh, I would have to use different wire because there's no way I'm gonna fit enough of that wire on there to uh, get a big enough primary. I'd have to go with finer primary wire and much more turns. Uh, so I can get away with maybe a one nanofarad capacitor. But right now I decided to hook it up straight to the machine, um, not change anything. Spark gap is the same size. I could probably make the spark gap smaller, but it's the same size. Uh, I am using a 100,000 volt high voltage wire on one side to my uh, capacitor bank, uh, and I'm just using an hour gator clip on the other side. Probably not the best idea, probably better off using a high voltage wire and. Uh, also, the point on the end of that alligator clip might be leaking off some charge, but uh, we'll see if we can get any breakout and we can get it to work uh, this way quick and dirty. Uh, and what, let's go see if we can get it to go. First of all, i got to get my bug zapper off in the background because uh, the uh, fluorescent light from that will uh, obscure our view. And uh, let's go and uh, turn this thing on. We are driving our uh, small uh, Tesla coil off of a quadruple Benetti machine as its power source. See you next time. Hi guys, Moses from the YouTube channel Mr. Benetti. Uh, I figured that now that we have the uh, Tesla coil actually being driven from the quadruple Benetti machine, I might as well do at least some of the uh, typical Tesla coil theatrics that people do when they first uh, get a Tesla coil working, uh, I might as well at least light a fluorescent light, light bulb. Of course, I can light the fluorescent light bulb from the field coming off of my uh, Benetti machine, but uh, it's much more fun to see it happening off the Tesla coil driven by the Benetti machine. So let's go ahead and do that to, for starters. Let's see if I can get it in frame a little bit better than I have it. That should do. And we'll turn the machine on again. I noticed in the last video that you could see the uh, Tesla coil breaking out even with the lights on, it, driven by this. 
Not as well as you could when it was driven by the flyback transformer, of course, but you could see some breakout happening even before I turned the lights off. Anyway, let's turn this on. Hopefully the machine's still charged up. Let's see if it'll go. So it's not. I'll start it up by touching it. Benetti machine. Uh, there it is running. You can see the uh, the negative side corona uh, between the disc sets and the corona on the front disc. There's your spark gap firing, and there's your Tesla coil output off in the distance there. That's your Tesla coil going. So overall, complete and utter success. 
I'm quite happy with the results. Actually, the results I think are even better than I expected. So, see you next time. Signing out.